going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to release the iliacus muscle, the hip flexor muscle in the front of the body that can contribute to a whole lot of lower back pain and problems when tight. This muscle tends to get very tight when sitting, which is something all of us do too much. And when it gets tight, when it locks up, when it gets very short, it can cause a lot of pain in the lower back, the front of the hip, and just a lot of problems throughout the hips. So for those who don't know me, my name is Ben. I'm the founder of Back Muscle Solutions, the creator of QL Claw, creator of this channel. I make this content because there's a lot of people with lower back pain out there, and I don't want you to be one of them. I had lower back pain really badly for four years, and all this content is the stuff I wish I had that would have saved me years of pain and struggle. And the iliacus muscle is one that contributed to a lot of pain in myself and contributes to a pain in a lot of other people. So watch this video to know how to own this muscle and to prevent it from causing you pain as well. To do the actual iliacus muscle release, we need to A, make sure we're hitting the muscle in the right spot, and B, make sure we're actually breaking up the tissue and busting up all that tension and tightness that's contributing to our pain. So in terms of location, the iliacus muscle is a hip flexor on the front of the body. It functions in doing this, lifting the knee to the chest, and it also, in this position, gets very short when sitting. So when you sit for too long all day, which most of us do for 10, 12 hours a day, which is very unnatural to the human body experience, these iliacus muscles in the front get very tight and hold a lot of tension. And when they get really tight and carry a lot of tension, they refer pain to the lower back, the front of the hip, and just cause a whole lot of tightness and issues in the hips in general. So we wanna make sure we're hitting the actual muscle, which starts at the top of the hip and it goes to the femur, and that's what helps it do the hip flexion function. So to access this, we want to go right above the waistline. I'm feeling it with my thumbs right now, like on the inner face of the hip. It's almost like you're trying to grind on the inside bone of that hip. And that's where we want to put this part of our QL Claw tool. And if you guys don't know, QL Claw is the best iliacus muscle release tool. It's also versatile enough to release the other four or five muscles that cause a lot of lower back pain when tight. QL medius piriformis, so as iliacus. That's all for another video. So today we're doing iliacus muscle release with this portion of the QL claw. And what that looks like in real time is we're gonna wing the device out to the side and we're gonna place this trigger portion right on our iliacus muscle. Oh yeah, right there. And then get the whole upper body down like this and really lean into it. And if you haven't done this before, if you haven't massaged, Diliacus, or you're not super comfortable with deep tissue massage, this could be very tender. But the first time you do it, it's going to be the hardest, I promise. Because once you start breaking up more and more tissue, the muscle is a lot more pliable, a lot more forgiving to massage. So as you can tolerate it, start moving this same side leg around to really bust up that tissue and tension. And you can even work in a little windshield wiper motion with the leg. If you're really feeling it, you can engage this glute, get the leg off the ground. That's all just optional. And the iliacus muscle is a couple inches in height, so you can feel free to move it up and down. And to really release the iliacus muscle, do this on both sides for about a minute, two minutes each side. Uh, and to know you're doing it right, if you release the tension and tightness correctly, it's gonna feel less painful and more comfortable at a higher intensity of massage. So if you feel your body like sink in a little bit, or it just isn't as intense at the end, that means you did something right. You broke up a little bit of tension and tightness and you might be feeling a little better. So that's iliacus muscle release, the best iliacus muscle massage on the, on the internet. Thanks for watching.